I'm going to show you guys four things that you need to do if your computer, your system, or your laptop is not recognizing your Oculus Quest device. When you plug your Oculus Quest to a computer or your laptop, it's meant to make a sound first and pop up a new folder. If it doesn't do that, or if it makes a sound and if it doesn't pop up a new folder, I'm going to show you the few things that you have to do so that your system can be able to recognize your Oculus Quest device. And why I'm making this video is because some few days ago, this same thing happened to me and it took me like four to five hours before I could rectify it. So I decided to come up and share this video for those of you that are witnessing this kind of problem in the future or that have come across this kind of problem. The few things that you have to do so that you can fix this particular problem if your system is not recognizing your Oculus Quest. Now, the very first thing you have to check is your connecting cable, which is the type C cable that you use to connect your Oculus Quest to your computer. USB cable that you use to connect your Oculus Quest to your computer. If you plug it to your computer and plug it to your Oculus Quest, if it doesn't come up, first of all, plug it in a phone, any kind of phone that uses type C cable, okay? Because Oculus Quest uses type C cable. So plug it to a phone and see if you can access the phone internal memory with the same type C cable. If you plug it on your Quest and also plug it on a phone that uses a type C cord and your system could not recognize any of those devices, that means you have to check the type C cable and change it to another one or try another type C cable, which is the very first thing that you have to do. Now, after you must have changed this cable, if it continues doing the same thing, if your system still could not recognize your Oculus Quest device, the next thing you need to do is you have to go to your system and um, I'm using a Windows 10. And when you go to your system, you click on add. Once you click on add, you see add a printer or scanner. Click on it. Once that window opens, go to the top left corner. You see Bluetooth and other device. Click on it and click on add other device. Okay. So from here, via Bluetooth, wireless display or everything else. Now click on everything else. And when you click on everything else, before you do this, make sure your Oculus Quest is already plugged on your system. But make sure that your Type-C cable is working perfectly before you can be able to do this, which is the second one. And the very last one, which I'm going to show you in this video, is very, very important for those of you that are using Oculus Quest because that is the major reason why I spent up to four to five hours trying to connect my Oculus Quest to my system for my system to see or recognize my Oculus Quest. But let's dive into the third one. Now, when you plug your Oculus Quest to your computer, it's meant to make a sound. Make sure the volume of your system is turned high. Make sure it's on the highest level make sure your make sure it's on the highest level so that once you plug your oculus quest it will make that sound once it makes that sound that means your type c cable is okay but if it doesn't make that sound that means you have to change your type c cable if you plug it on your phone it makes the same sound as well once it makes that sound it's meant to bring up or pop up a new folder that you can use to access your internal memory of your phone or your Oculus Quest device. But if none of these things happens, that means you have to check your Type-C cable and change it to another one and try it again. So let's dive right into the third one. So when you try the first one, which is checking your Type-C or USB cable that you use in connecting your Oculus Quest to your system, and you try this add, remove new device. You're trying to add new device. If none of this works, then you have to restart your Oculus Quest and at the same time, restart your laptop or your computer. Now, after restarting these two devices, both your laptop and your Oculus Quest, this very last one is very, very important because this is the actual one that really made me take so much time to connect my Oculus Quest to my laptop. Now, this is the very major one, which... My USB cable is already plugged to my Oculus Quest. And if I push in the USB cable in the port in my laptop, this is what happens. If you plug it, it's going to make a sound. 
it's going to make a sound and as you guys can see showing allow connected device to access files the device you are connected to will be able to access files saved on your headset now once you click on allow it will pop up a new folder on your system from this folder now you can be able to access the files in your headset now let me unplug it let me unplug it if i unplug it this folder disappears if i plug it again you can hear that sound it makes that sound and it shows this but if eventually this is very very important which is the last one if eventually you go and click or mistakenly click on deny and don't show again which i mistakenly did sometime but i didn't know if you click on this and unplug your usb cable from your system now let me plug it again you will see that this dialog box is not going to pop up but it will make a sound and it's not going to bring up any new folder on my laptop you see it made a sound to show that the usb cable is okay but none of this thing came up in front of my screen in my oculus quest and on my laptop no folder was able to pop up so which means if you mistakenly do this you cannot be able to access the files in your oculus quest headset so let me show you guys how you can rectify this in case if you plug your usb cable to your oculus quest and your laptop or your computer and you're witnessing something like this is not popping up any folder on your system and is not popping up any dialog box in your oculus quest let me show you what you have to do you have to go and go to setting let me show you guys what you have to do you have to go to setting click on setting once you click on setting it pops up this dialog box now go to system and walk down to developer click on developer you will see guidian usb connection usb connection dialog dialog enable usb connection via a confirmation dialog you will see this is turned off and it's turned off because of what i clicked earlier do not show the dialog box again which i mistakenly did now you have to toggle this button and put it on once you click on it you're good to go so once you unplug your usb cable on your system which is this and let me plug it again you can see allow device deny or allow device and if you click on this allow device it will pop up a new folder on your system so bear in mind this is very very important in case if you want to access the files in your oculus quest and you're witnessing such problem okay the very first thing you need to do is check your usb cable with the method i showed you plug it on your headset and if it's not recognizing your headset try it with another phone that uses a usb cable which is type c cable now the second one is add remove device go to your system click on add remove device and see if it can and see if it can recognize your oculus quest now the third one is restart both your oculus quest device and your laptop and the fourth one which is this very important one is make sure you go to developer mode and toggle that button if that dialog box is not popping up whenever you plug your usb cable from your oculus quest to your 
laptop or computer so guys this is all for now i just wanted to share this with you because of the problem i witnessed you know some few days ago and if this is your very first time of watching my video my name is Ashley Kenna Kinsley and on this channel i give you tips and solutions on how to make money online and other relevant things that helps in our daily online space but during the weekend i make sure i give you updates on new apps and games in the virtual reality space <laughs> So if you're not yet subscribed to this channel, make sure you hit the subscription button and also turn on the notification button so that you'll be the first to know once I upload a new video. I will see you guys in my next video. You guys should stay creative and remain blessed.